<laughs> you like that. Good morning. So it's Good morning. Dave, my best buddy Chris. If you remember a year ago we did uh, Roy's Peak together. This year we're down in Queenstown again and uh, we're actually going to go up to Ben Lomond. So Ben Lomond is 1748 metres up. We're going to go straight Isn't up. That high? Yeah. Shivers. Not really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who do you think passed on the camera? Eagle's Nest. How awesome is that? Top of the gondolas. Quite nice to have a cafe. Uh, halfway through your hike. So the lake's at 400 thereabouts. Uh, the gondola's at 800 thereabouts. So, so that's, uh, what's that? 250, 300 metre climb. So wilding pines are a bit of an issue up in the up in this country here. You can see over there they've sprayed some. But here's Davy doing his bit. Pulling out a wilding pine. Self-sown Douglas fir. this lady that there's still another hour and a half to go oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, old buddies I just you just love pulling tricks on them it's like it's like night and day where's the lake going there <laughs> uh like Pakatipu is down there in there somewhere. Anyway, we're heading up to this. Woo ah, Davey! We made it! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, for those that saw Roy's peak, you'll remember this crazy Kiwi. Yeah! <laughs> it's true, Kiwis can fly. So we're at the top of uh, Ben Lomond right now, it's clagged in unfortunately. We're at 1748 meters. And there is actually this little marker just here. And yeah, we're not alone. Did you get here before the cloud? Oh. No. You didn't. No. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Canada. Canada! Yeah. Woohoo! Come out, check. Now check friends. Come on guys! It's like the state of the nations up here in New Zealand today. Give him a big clap! Woohoo! Perfect view. <laughs> there you go, Ben Lyman. Hey, so look, I actually think this might have been a little bit tougher than Roy's Peak. Um, probably not for the faint hearted. You probably need a little bit more fitness, I think. Um, but uh, make sure you got plenty of daylight. So, Chris, we've come up and it's 12 o'clock now. What is that? Two and a half hours. Three and a half. We got up here three and a half hours, take half an hour off for the gondolas, so maybe three hours up, maybe six hour return trip. We'll catch on the way down. We have company. Have company. So this is a Kia. <laughs> he knows where to hang out. They are incredibly mischievous at night. They will tear into I gotta be very careful that he doesn't attack my camera. Kia, the New Zealand parrot, 
They are very, very clever. In fact, allegedly they're the cleverest bird in the world. They know how to get into packs in terms of the zips. And this is what this little boy is just trying to get into, sorting out now. Gotta be careful he doesn't tear my pack open though. So they've been known to actually take people's boots. So in every hut that we stayed at on the root burn, we were told we had to bring our boots in. He's actually trying to tear the material. They just love tearing things apart. You like that? What about you? Are you as curious? Hey? You beautiful birds. Oh, 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 you know how to get into packs, don't you? That, by the way, is the first time I think he's ever passed me. It's amazing how Chris performs for the camera. See that pace that he's setting? That is not normal. If we carry on videoing him, he will not continue that pace. Oh, oh mate. Oh, give me a break. Turn it off. Well, here we are. It's actually been we made it. six hours since we left the spot this morning. Probably about half an hour in the gondola cafe. So five and a half hours for Chris and I to get to the top of Ben Loman. Been an absolute magical day. Actually the gradient was a little bit challenging. Oh, lots, of right. lots of people on the track. Yeah. And uh, look, when I release the footage, you'll see all of these kiwis. Key Kiwis. Kiwis. Kiwis absolute magical day. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. See you again.